Labra dogs are no doubt among the most sweetest and obedient dogs till date. They tick mark every box for being a great companion. You might have also seen them do many jobs like hunting dogs, show competitors, uh, search and rescue dogs, therapy dogs and what more. But do they make good apartment dogs? Let's find out in this video. Also at the end of this video, I'm talking about common Labrador issues you might face as an owner when you live in an apartment. It may annoy your neighbor and it could lead to your dog's eviction, which you definitely don't want. So firstly, So that's an interesting topic to wait for. So make sure you stick till the end. And also if you're new here, welcome to Petslow. We make tons of dog education videos just like this. And it's the content that you don't want to miss. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button. It would motivate us a lot. And also if this video was even a little bit helpful, make sure you like the video. And without any further ado, we'll get into the main topic. So the question is, can a Labrador live in an apartment? I would say yes and no. On one hand, Labrador Retrievers are known for being a great family dog with a very kind, caring and obedient personality. But on the other hand, in some cases, Labradors have also a reputation of being a very destructive, naughty and difficult to control dog. Uh, now only in some cases, but at the end it depends on the owner, whether you want to raise your Labrador as a very kind, obedient dog or a very destructive and naughty dog. Uh, I have a very perfect video for you, uh, for you that will help you make your Labrador's apartment life more happy. So feel free to click on this I button and check that video out whenever you have the time. Besides this, Labradors are great apartment dogs. In fact, they are one of the best dogs to be considered for an apartment. With the right amount of training and uh, exercise, you will find why Labradors make this perfect apartment breed. Now, uh, it seems that Labradors may be too huge for a small place. There is always one question, can my Labrador fit in my apartment? Is it too small? Is it too big? I have answer for you. Labradors doesn't care. If they live in a big mansion or in a small apartment, they just don't care. They just need a small place beside you and they will live, uh, live their life very happily. Now we will learn more deeply about this further in this video. So make sure to watch till the end so you understand everything about Labradors and the life in an apartment. Uh, so let's have some look at the uh, things you should consider before having a Labrador in your house, in your apartment. How much exercise do Labradors need? All the dogs have different energy levels. Some require more and some dogs require lesser amount of physical activity. Now, if you look at Labradors, they are considered to be a very high energy dog and uh, they require a lot of physical and mental stimulation to release that built up energy. And uh, the best way to release that built up energy is by exercising your dog every day, taking them for a walk every day to keep their mind and body busy. That's how you release that build up energy. Just like you and me, uh, when they don't get the exercise they need, uh, when they have that build up energy inside them, they get sluggish, irritated and restless. And they might start chewing your furniture, break a few things here and there. They might also start turning in the circles. Now, if you are a dog, you have definitely experienced all these things. So let us know in the comments below, what are the things that you have experienced with your dog so that some people can learn something from you. So make sure to comment down there and uh, the best way you can do, you can make the things better is to take your dog outside uh, to a nearby ground or a park for a walk two times a day, at least two times a day. That much you can give the time to your dog. I can guarantee you that this will definitely make your apartment life so much better. Are Labradors high maintenance? Labradors are the kind of breeds who doesn't like to bark without any reason. So the least you want is for them to bark all day long. So make sure to train them when to speak, when not to speak, when to bark and when not to bark. So you might avoid and complaint and so from your neighbors or landlords and you should definitely remember that, okay? Uh, even though they have a very short and smooth hair, they tend to shed a lot and average Labrador sheds almost throughout the year. Uh, but the uh, shedding is at its peak during the spring and autumn seasons. So you have to look out for their coat 
all the time uh, there are few things that you can do to uh, make the situation better firstly brush your dog's coat at least twice a week you can do more if you want but at least twice a week uh, and try to bath your dog with a de-shedding shampoo if you don't know any de-shedding shampoo i will link few in the description that i think are the best and if you don't trust me you can go ask your vet for any brands you want okay uh, lastly i would say uh, uh, if you don't have any option and the situation is getting still worse and worse you can always you use coat supplements and yeah they they are definitely not recommended but yes you can use them it's safe um, now if you have any uh, uh, if you have a family member that has allergies with dog's hair or you are uh, too frustrated from cleaning your dog's hair every day in your apartment then i would say think twice before uh, before getting a labrador because these things are bound to come up how much space do a labrador need a labrador is quite a big dog not as big as a great den or a saint bernard but they're still quite a big breed now looking at the size of a labrador people often make this misconceptions that a labrador is not suited for small apartments or small houses which is totally not the case uh, whether you live in a big bungalow or a big mansion or a small apartment or a small house all your labrador needs is a small place to sit and sleep beside you most of the time you will find your labrador sitting by your leg under that uh, computer small computer table when you are working or chasing you around whenever you move from one room to another that's how passionate they are affectionate they are now let's have a look at few common apartment issues you might face when you have a dog firstly as you know apartments have closely faced walls so your neighbor can probably hear even the sound of a drop of a pen generally labradors are not the barky kind of dogs but they do bark since they are dogs after all and dogs do bark uh, so too much barking may annoy your neighbor and it could lead to your dog's eviction which you definitely don't want so firstly always take permission of your all neighbors and all the landlords before uh, you adopt a dog and secondly find the reasons why your dog is barking and then try to solve it as fast as you can another problem is potty and pee training as a dog owner myself i have a beagle and one of the first training sessions you have to uh, teach your dog teach your labrador is potty and pee training uh basically you have to begin this as soon as your uh, labrador is uh, at your home your labrador reaches the reaches your home the first time so it can be difficult since they are uh, since they are puppy since they are the puppyhood and they literally pee and potty after every hour so it can be difficult but gradually when they grow up they will learn by themselves and you will find a labrador which is totally perfectly potty and pee trained uh at then i would definitely recommend a potty uh indoor potty pad if you don't have one and you have a puppy you should definitely get that i will drop a link of that product in the description if you want one you can click on the link and check that out thanks for watching i hope this video was helpful if it was make sure you click that logo to the left and after that you click that red subscribe button straight away also if you haven't checked our latest video make sure do by clicking on this video right down there I will see you in the next video. Take care of your dog. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. Peace out.